Hello, this is Mr. Cherk, and I'm going to walk you through uh, some important information about your uh, Microsoft Surface. When you save work to your Surface, there is a software called DeepFreeze. And what this software does is it deletes uh, files that don't need to be on the computer after you shut the computer down. Uh, this is because the surfaces were often used in classrooms, so students were handing in work during class or they were saving the work to Office 365. If you need to save your work locally to your surface and you don't want it to delete from your surface, you need to make sure that you save your files to your deep thaw D drive. Uh, the name of the drive is thaw space and it has a label the letter D. So make sure again that you save your work if you don't want it to delete off of your computer when you restart your computer to the D drive. Okay? If you save anywhere else on your computer when you shut it down or log off those files will be deleted. And of course, if you log into Office 365 and make all your work there, or if you save your work to your OneDrive and keep your OneDrive synced, your work will stay in the cloud. So again, if you save your work locally, make sure you save it to the thaw space, the D drive. To save your work to Office 365 or OneDrive, you need to first sync OneDrive or go to Office 365 and make some work. Open up your web browser of choice, and in the search bar, type portal.office.com. You should see a sign-in window that looks like this. Again, you should see a sign-in window that looks like this. Use your school ID email. That is your 5051234 ID number at students plural dot smcjuhsd dot org and then your school password which should be eight characters a mix of upper and lower case and some numbers for punctuation when you click sign in if you're working from the same computer every day and you're not sharing your computer, you can click yes to stay signed in. If you need to log out frequently, I recommend you click no. When you get to Office 365, of course, any files you make with any of your apps will be stored to your OneDrive. So if I make a Word document or a PowerPoint, those files are stored in my OneDrive. If you click on OneDrive, you will see your files located there. Again, any files you make in Office 365 in your web browser will be stored to your OneDrive. If you want to work on these files on the desktop applications, then you need to sync your OneDrive to your computer or click on the Open in Desktop Version button when editing the file. To sync your OneDrive, simply open OneDrive and go to the top toolbar where it says Sync. Click on the Sync button. Two pop-up windows will pop up if you're setting up your OneDrive for the first time. Click on the Open Microsoft OneDrive button to start OneDrive. In your file explorer, you will notice that OneDrive will start to sync. You'll see the word OneDrive change to OneDrive South Monterey County, which tells you you're logged into your school account. Again, make sure you save your files to your OneDrive and your OneDrive is synced. Make sure you create your files in Office 365. And if you need to save files to your computer, save them to the D drive or thaw space or thaw space D drive. Again, save your work to the D drive. Okay?